Hey what's going on everyone, today I'm going to show you how to kill those annoying shield enemies in Lords of the Fallen and I'm going to be using any uh, a greatsword and an axe just to show you that this trick can be done with any weapon let's see this is the highest damaging axe that I currently have the trick here is to basically do a running charge while they are charging at the same time at you and you'll get a small window of opportunity to kill these guys just wait for them to come at you come on so you see this you cannot damage them while they're holding their shields up the only way you can do any kind of damage is when they have when they're attacking you you'll have a very small window of opportunity like that you just wait for them to run at you and then you hit them now depending on what kind of axe you're using you can kill them in one or two hits at most at this point my axe is not that great it's it does the job though Alright, so now let's do the same trick again with a greatsword this time. I'll be using the persistence which I got from the first boss in the game. Now the persistence has a shorter range of jumping attack. Um, trying to show you. Like that. Now, so this creates a little bit of a problem because you have even shorter amount of time before you can hit the boss. And you have to be a little closer to him. Uh, let me just quickly show you with the axe again. The axe has a longer longer distance. It's a little easier with an axe, but you know, you can I'm trying to show you so you can do it with any weapon. There you go. Just wait for him to run at you and boom. Come on, camera angles. Sometimes I hate the camera. Sixty-nine damage, oh yeah. You can even do the same trick with staffs or knives if you have. But I, I just, uh, you know, I just go for axe because you kill them with one or two shots at most and that leaves you little room for error alright guys thanks for watching